Session in the November 2023 CHRP09, which is number six. Number six A, evaluate the conditions under which off the job training is appropriate. And uh, off the job training is that kind of training which is done uh, outside your work uh, area. You have to go somewhere else and not within your work to go and get the training. So what are some of the conditions that are appropriate for this method of training to, to take place? Number one, I mean, the training involves a lot of technical learning. When you want to learn technical, when you want to get something, to learn something very technical, that means you cannot do it while at the same time you are working. Sometimes you'll be forced to concentrate, to go somewhere outside the job so that you can fully uh, have a, a fully concentration and learn and get to learn the technical skills. So when the training involves a lot of technical learning, you can opt for on off the job training and then when the trainee needs to fully concentrate on learning yes when you don't want distractions because off or on the job training is that kind of training that will distract you a lot because you are working and at the same time you are training so if you don't want to do with that uh, such kind of distraction then you have to go for off the job training so that you can fully concentrate on whatever it is that you're working on and then in cases where trainees have less experience lacks more skills and abilities to do the job that means you cannot train them while they are working that means you'll make them pause in whatever it is that they do so that they can fully concentrate and learn on whatever it is that they're lacking so that they can add on their knowledge so that they can add on their experience so that they can add on their skills and abilities that is the only way you can be able to help them so that means for such kind of trainees who are less experienced who lack more skills and abilities to do the job, then uh, you can help them for off the job training. Also, when you want to have an encounter with more diverse training methods, that means you'll have to go somewhere else, not within the work, because you'll be while you are working, while you're training on the work, you'll be restricted. But when you are training outside the work, that means you'll have the uh, the the tendency to, to, to try different ways of doing things. Huh? So when you want to have an encounter with more diverse training methods, then you opt for off the job training. Also, when you want uh, a, an uh, external sort of training, which is led by industry experts and external employees, that means you'll have to go outside your work area and go and get the training. So it is appropriate when you want a training that is led by people from outside the organization, like the industry experts or external ex employees, or maybe sometimes consultants and so on and so forth. That can also make you to go for off the job training. Lastly, when you want to have an experience with the well-organized and detailed training methods, you cannot do it while you're working, but you have to go somewhere else and do it. So that those are some of the conditions or situations under which of the job training is appropriate. That is our number six. Eh? And then number six B, outline the challenges associated with the implementation of training needs assessment reports. What are some of the challenges that come with the uh, implementation of the training needs assessment reports? First of all, they have a lot of, number one, you have uh, data collection and analysis. One of the main challenges is to collect and analyze relevant data and reliable data from the multiple sources, such as the performance reviews, survey interviews, focus group observation, test ETC. That is the first challenge when it comes to implementation of training and needs analysis report. For you to come up with this report, definitely you need information, and not only information, factual information. And for you to come up with this factual information is a challenge, because that means you'll have to work with diverse sources and sometimes this can be can be so time consuming, can be so tiresome, of which it will limit you to just a, a number of sources. So that is number one. And then we have number two, our uh, management and effective training needs analysis is going to need a lot of input from the management. And sometimes the managers even do not time. The managers could go for days or even for weeks without coming to work. So what happens when such things come up? So that is also a challenge. And then you have number, <coughs> excuse me, sorry for that. Number three, time. For you to come up with a training need analysis report, you need time. Because you say you depend on a number of sources and not one source. And most of the time, most of the times what happens, there's time constraint. For you to access all these sources, you need a lot of time. Will you have the necessary time to do it? That is also a challenge. And then also not having a farm process in place. If you don't have a farm process in place on how the TNA, 
the training uh, need assessment report could uh, be generated. That could also bring a challenge. So having a farm process in place can help you come up with uh, something very efficient and effective. But when this process or farm process that we're talking about is not in place, it poses challenges in terms of implementation of the training and needs analysis report. And then lastly, failure to utilize feedback. The reason as to why people do assessment is basically because they want to understand what happened and give feedback to the relevant parties. Sometimes you give this feedback, but it's not basically used. So if you fail to use previous feedback in coming up with the current report, that is also a challenge because most of the things you don't know what you, most of the things that will be incorporated are basically not judged from what happened last because the feedback will be very much important. So if this feedback is not there, most of the times, uh, coming up with a concrete or a very relevant and efficient report also becomes a, becomes a challenge. So these are some of the challenges uh, that uh, can be experienced when uh, coming up or implementing a training needs assessment uh, report. And that marks at the end of our revision uh, session. Thank you. And uh, let's meet in another paper or in another uh, revision session. Thank you.